Hi hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am continuing my series on reviewing a brand by its website, and today we're doing Aura Acacia. So I'm basically going to go on their website, look for things that I generally look for before I go and purchase from a, an essential oil company, quality, testing, pricing, all of the things, and we're going to see what we can see. Aura Acacia is a brand that a lot of people want me review because it's I think easily accessible I think they sell it in natural food stores so this is their website and just right off the bat let me make sure that I can see this one so they have products guides recipes and a blog I really like when brands have blogs because it gives you just some safety information some recipes they have recipes here and guides so I'm interested in that what are all of these so guides is a guide to our men's recipes. So just some gift guides, I guess. Recipes. These are great also because they're usually formulated or they should be formulated by aromatherapists. And so the dilution rates should be on par and good to go. Let's check this one out. So candy cane sugar scrub. This is a cute website. This is a cute recipe tab on their website. I'm impressed with this. Um, so you're using uh, skincare oil. So you're using one ounce of carrier, two drops of or acacia vanilla in jojoba. That's a mouthful. Half a cup of sugar, four drops of peppermint, two drops of spearmint, and four ounce jar, and then four drops of orange. So the dilution rates are looking good. Let's see if we can go. What is this? It doesn't go to it. So these are all links too. So you can click that and I don't know if it's showing you, I'm sorry. And it goes to the product page of that product. So that takes you to the peppermint and then you can go on and purchase. So that's cool. I really like this. Makes one serving hands on five minutes. These are cool. They have a bunch. Let's just check this one. Rosehip and jojoba facial serum. Jojoba, rosehip, six drops neroli. I'm just going to check quick because I have my guide somewhere close by. And we're just going to check the dilution rate and make sure that they're... So for two ounces of carrot oil, they're using 12 drops of essential oil. And that's a 1% dilution rate. So for skincare, that is right on the money. That's where it should be. So I'm really impressed with that. Whoops, did I get rid of that? There we go. Let's go back. So products. So they have kids, miss, skincare. Let's just go to their oils. All right, so they have blend, blend, blend. Did I go to blends? Let's see. Oh, here we go. It's a different. Nope. Trying to find just a regular all single essential oil. These are all blends. So it looks like they have quite a few. That's really nice, especially if they're done well. Here's, okay, well, this is blue tansy. They have it. It says it's labeled correctly. I hate when essential oils are diluted and they don't let you know. So this one is blue tansy in jojoba oil. The price is 14 for a five mil bottle pre-diluted. That's okay. It's not like crazy. It's pretty much in the ballpark. So it's diluted with blue tansy or I'm sorry, with jojoba oil. And our promise, single botanical, no synthetics, GCMS tested. I'm thinking ingredients, the Latin name or the plant name should be there for both. So that's good. So as far as the labeling, everything looks good. Safety guidelines. If pregnant nursing suffering from a medical condition, dilute properly. I like the safety information. Blue tansy is a generally safe oil to use. Let's see. Frankincense. This is also, so they have this line of ready to use oils. I think it makes it more accessible to people, especially like this one's 1288. So for freaking sense, that's good. I want to see testing though. And it's hard. Well, when it's pre-diluted, I don't know if they're just going to have there. I really like these oils. So like Jasmine, Rose, I buy them this way because it is more affordable and I'm going to dilute it anyway before I use it. They have two different rows, Rose Auto and Rose Absolute. Those are just a way the oil is made is different in those two. Vanilla, I like that. So here we go. They also have an organic line, which that's really impressive. I really like that. So, so far, no huge red flags. I'm pretty impressed. Bergamot. So um, organic bergamot 12. Ooh, so be careful and look at these. So this is a 0.25 fluid ounce. Wait, what? I thought that said milliliter. Seven. The sizing is weird. So it's a 7.4 milliliter bottle. 
which is just an oddball quantity, but whatever, 1278. So let me think about this. For organic bergamot, it's a little bit, I guess that's good. The pricing is right. Ingredients, good. Safety. Look, so they have avoid direct sunlight when used in skin applications. So they have specific safety guidelines. I'm really impressed with that. That is what you want. That's what you look for. So no testing or no. They have a lot of information. What's the difference between organic and conventional organic? Tentacles. I'm still looking for testing and how we get test results. That's important to me. That's something I look for. So let's see, quality. Quality, they have a video here. Quality of the source, so where they go, their suppliers, sustainable practices. Purity testing is tested in our labs when it arrives at our Iowa headquarters. So rigorous testing, back to the ones to first pioneer a test that's now considered the standard. Interesting. So they do GCMS test. They do it in-house. And so that's just, I do really like when they do third-party testing because that's just another layer of accountability and transparency. And they're testing their own oils. You can do whatever you want, I guess. That's just a thing, but it's just about trusting you trust them. And after everything that I've seen, I would say I have no reason not to trust them. Getting the true benefit doesn't require adjusting your behavior. Cool. So they're explaining just different multiple plans offer a share in common name. That's cool. They have a lot of education on their website. I like that. Air fresheners, diffusers. They have some diffusers. I still want to see the testing. Am I missing it here? Support. Who we are, quality, our co-op. Did I miss it on this page? Oh, yes, I did. We don't expect you to trust our word. We expect you to trust the test results. So click here to view GCMS testing. There we go. So this is the lavender essential oil. So I'm assuming you'll be able to look up your UPC number and then check the test. So or acacia, they do their own testing in-house Bulgarian lavender oil, lavandula angustifolia from Bulgaria, steam distilled. So they have their test here and then this analysis, no contamination or uh, uh, alter adulteration was detected. This is great, but also like, if you're not trained to read these tests, it's not really helpful. They do provide their tests, so that's really good. Looks like they have all of their single essential oils here. So I think I've seen all that I need to see. I think I'm going to place an order with them for okay, the smell test and test it in a couple of different ways, like using it, see if it works. But uh, as far as their website goes, I really like the education and the information they're giving you because if a brand has something to hide or anything like that type of red flag thing, they're not going to provide information in aromatherapy or in a aromatherapy type of way. So I really appreciate that. I like that they have recipes. The recipes are, uh, they look great to me just by looking at the first couple of them. I like how they have different products as well. So they have a kid's line. Let's just check that out really quick. So bath also, they have some fizzy bath kit. That's really good to know. I have a sensitive daughter and she can't have anything synthetic like fragrance or things so she misses out on like, bath bombs that you get from the store from time to time so they have stuff like this which is really good let me just check out the ingredients in one of these really fast to make sure free and free of synthetic colors fragrance and preservative that's impressive they usually get away with adding some fragrance into these uh lavender citrus frankincense blue tansy oh, and it's has blue tansy my favorite so it has baking soda, salt, citric acid, some things I don't know, jojoba oil, orange, lavender, 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 mandarin, and frankincense. Oh, these look promising. I think Zara's really going to love these um, and that she gets to participate. We either have to make our own bath bombs, which is a task in itself, or I have to, it's really hard to find these that are fragrance free. Um, so I really love that they have this. If you've used Aura Acacia, let me know in the comments if you're a fan of them. I so far approve. I'm going to try their products for the real test, but I'm excited to find another brand that maybe is good enough to be on my shelf or in our home. So let me know what you think about them. I will order and then I'll share my unboxing here too. But let me know if you have any questions or comments on what I talked about today. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what brand you want me to do next. Have a good day. Bye.